Hey there, Rhiannon. Good morning. It is such an exciting morning here at the Kennedy Space Center because now America has made history yet again. The Orion capsule is on its way to the moon after launching on the space launch system, the SLS, the most powerful rocket in the world. The Orion will then orbit the moon and come back to Earth. It's going to take about 26 days. And the whole goal here is to test it out for humans to eventually use that and get to the moon, too. I want to bring in one of those humans. Former NASA astronaut Katie Coleman, our ABC News contributor. Katie, we've already been to the moon. Why is this so important? There is something so compelling about space. I and mean, we saw it. We saw, I mean, it's not just going to the moon. We saw this rocket headed to the moon, collecting this data. And next, we're going back to the moon to stay. We're going to have the first woman, the first person of color walking on the moon. And that's just a start for us heading to Mars because this is our neighborhood. That's right, and we are here to explore the universe. That is what we're going to be doing here uh, for years and years to come, and this is just the beginning. So much excitement here at the Kennedy Space Center. And amazing to see the launch. Oh, so amazing, <laughs> and to feel the launch. Andrew, back to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.